Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making some uh, shortcake biscuits uh, with, with lemon zest in them. Um, I want to do this uh, for two reasons. One is that I love these shortcake biscuits um, and I can't find a recipe that allows you to make them in the shape that we buy them in the shop here but I, I think round ones will be fine. Um, and the other reason is that um, I should be going away shortly and I want to get a couple of videos um, in the can, so to speak, so that I can put them online while I'm away. And I hope that will work. <clears throat> now, uh, it's quite a simple recipe. It just takes a little bit of time because you have to rest the dough after you've made it. Um, the ingredients are 350 grams of plain flour, uh, 120 grams of icing sugar and 30 grams of um, vanilla sugar that's sugar that I've had at home with uh, empty vanilla pods in for quite a while and that's infused the, the sugar with a vanilla flavour you don't need to use vanilla sugar you could just up the the icing sugar to 150 grams I have 130 grams of softened butter two medium eggs that would be large in the USA and I've got the zest of two small lemons. One large lemon would be fine. Um, and that's going to impart a, a, just a, a slight lemon flavour to the, the shortcake biscuits. Now the first thing to do is to cream the butter and the uh, sugar together. And uh, for that I'm going to sift the icing sugar because it tends to clump quite a lot into the softened butter. And then I'm going to pour in the caster sugar and I'm going to cream those together. Um, and I'm going to start very slowly because the icing sugar tends to go everywhere if you're not careful. Then I'm going to add in the eggs and the lemon zest and give those a little mix round and then I'm going to add the flour in as well and just mix it until it's nice and smooth. So that's mixed and what I'm going to do is um, just knock off the excess from the whisks and then I'm going to um, chill this, I actually wrap it in a plastic wrap and chill it for at least two hours and then it will be ready to roll out on a lightly floured work surface. So I'll just scrape our dough out of the bowl and onto the plastic wrap. I 
then I'll use the plastic wrap to shape it. Like that. And that can go in the fridge then for two hours. And when I come back, we'll roll that out and we'll make our uh, biscuits. Okay, well, I'm back with you and our uh, biscuit or cookie dough has chilled for two hours. I've actually cut it into four pieces because I want to make 40 uh, cookies at least and then a few more from the scraps. And... Uh, so by having it in uh, quarters like this, and I've, I've floured my work surface, I'm going to roll this out. And I'm using a cookie cutter, which is about two and a quarter inches in diameter. So I'm going to roll this out as near as I can to about 11 inches by four and a half inches. Um, and that will give me, if I roll it evenly, a fairly even thickness and the ability to get 10 cookies from each quarter like that. So, in order to do that, somewhere, or here, I have a piece of parchment paper which I've cut out to that size. So that's almost the thickness I need, uh, the, the uh, width I need. I'm going to push it back together so I can level the edges a little bit. And then roll it just a little bit longer, like that. And that should just about do it, I think. Now, so then I'm going, I'm, I should say I have my oven preheating um, at 160 Celsius. That's 140 Celsius with a fan, 320 Fahrenheit. And I've got some baking trays prepared. So here's a cookie cutter, which is about uh, two and a quarter inches in diameter. I'm going to just cut those cookies and that I'm just going to roll that a little bit thinner because I that's it. cut that and put it on the cookie sheet or the yes the baking tray should I say and I also have a different little gadget which I want to try out which has six different patterns but it's th they're the same size clearly you don't have to use such a thing that just gives a pattern to the top of the cookie and a rim around the edge And so I'm going to carry on cutting these out and then I will bake the cookies in the oven in two batches but I'll bake them for 10 to 12 minutes until they've uh, coloured nicely and I'll take them out and put them on a wire rack and allow them to cool then I'll come back and show you the results. Okay well I'm back with you and I baked our cookies for about 12 minutes and this is what they look like. Um, this is the the one that I whoops this is the one that I or the type that I made with the normal cookie cutout um, and these are the ones I made with the little press that I 
I was trying out. So we'll have a little taste. Hmm. Nice and crunchy and quite short and that lemon zest really does give it a flavour. It's not sharp, it's just that nice lemon flavour, very subtle but you can definitely taste it. Um, and so I made 40 here and I still have all the offcuts in the fridge and I'm going to uh, probably get another 8 or 10 out of that I think. So uh, that's not bad. You could roll them slightly thicker if you wanted. That might mean you have to adjust the, the oven temperature or the cooking time for a little bit. And well, that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there will be an eye that will, you can click on and it will take you to my blog and the recipe there. And I'll put a link to that below the video. I'll be back with you in the near future with another video. So until then, happy baking.